Look, I got a two camera system going right now. Got my notes, got my other camera. Inception. Um, Cause basically this one, the framing gets super weird when I upload it to Reels. So we're doing both. Um, but welcome back to the podcast. I'm gonna start my other camera and then we're gonna get right into the episode today. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to Mindfulness in Minutes. I am so sorry that this episode is late in the day, um, but it's here and I've been, you know, busy making content all day and I figured it was best to get, you know, my IG and my TikTok stuff done first, but anyways, we are here and we are now (laughs) both Um, and I'm so happy to be here. So recap on yesterday's episode. Uh, it was kind of about killing the ego or the choices that you make and, you know, whether they are serving your higher self and the ego and, and, you know, maybe could be nice to start examining those and making choices that align with whatever you think you need at the time. If you need more time in your current cycle, you need to really learn the lessons. You know, who am I to, to tell you otherwise? Like, you know what you need, but basically getting to this point where you're either leveling up or remaining in your current cycle. Um... Now today, I wanted to talk about experiencing, you know, emotions, because I'm so good at it. But obviously, over the past few days, I've been kind of feeling this different energy around. Like, it started off beginning of the month, super positive, super uplifting, super productive. And now it's getting to a point where I'm a little bit lower in my state, and, um... Yeah, I it brought me back to this point in in my life that, you know, when I started on this spiritual path, I thought that everything had to be like so high all the time. I thought that it was, you know, everything's positive, you know, shift everything into the best outlook and and that's what's going to get you through. And in reality, um negative emotions are really important to experience as well. And so, uh you know, starting out, I feel like a lot of people starting out, I know myself starting out, I basically had this toxic positivity, toxic positive outlook on a lot of things. And so if you don't know what toxic positivity is, it's this, you know, belief that um, even in the worst of circumstances, you should remain positive. Like, you know, you lost your job and you're, instead of allowing yourself space to grieve a loss, Instead, you kind of hop right into this uh, area where it's more of a, um, oh, I'm going to shift this into a positive mindset. Oh, like, you know, I didn't even really like that job, whatever. Like, this is such a cool opportunity to pursue hobbies. And like, yes, those things are true as well. But like, I think there's a, there's a, when it becomes problematic is when it's repeatedly used to avoid um, situations in where there's any negativity involved, because it's okay to feel negative feelings, like, that's 100% allowed, and it's actually one of the things that I think, um, adds a lot of value to, to living this life, um, I'm just gonna see where I am in my notes here, yeah, yeah, okay, so in reality, you know, we're human, And as much as we can be on this spiritual journey and this journey of enlightenment and personal development, um, and part of that includes embracing the opportunities that we are given and learning the lessons that we need to learn through whatever is thrown our way, um, part of the the experience is feeling the full depth of, of what it is to exist in this physical body, in this day and age like we were all formed born whatever you want to call it at the same time for a specific reason we're all interconnected in some way so there's some shared aspects but like i got off track so i have notes sometimes they don't work very well so i'm trying not to be by the book but anyways this whole thing, we've been born into these physical bodies at a time when we're able to really um, talk and have these conversations. And like you see even now, like mental health is, you know, getting out there a little bit more and it's all good. But like 
like part of this this physical being that you have right now this physical body is like it can feel this whole spectrum of emotions it can feel the good the bad and the ugly and we can't constantly be on a high 24 7 it's it's unrealistic it's monotone and sometimes shit's just bad and you know maybe there's an external factor that that causes this like perhaps you know you lost your job or a family member or, or or something like that like sometimes there is an external factor but sometimes it just materializes out of nowhere i can be having like you know be on this path and and be doing all the right things and still feel like shit some days <laughs> like it just it's how it is and it's you know unrealistic to think that like i can just avoid that for my entire life you know, I think the, there's an importance in opening ourselves up to both sides of the spectrum. And it kind of allows us to level out to a place where um, shit's generally pretty fucking good. Like you have a good baseline, you know? And when you're constantly at a high and you're constantly saying that like everything's, you know, for a reason and constantly running away from negative feelings, then when you finally, you know, have that tiny little tear in... Uh, your enlightened mindset, like, and these negative emotions weasel their way in, you're not going to know how to cope with them because you've been running away and you've been avoiding them for so long. And so, you know, on the reverse side, like the highs are never going to feel as good when your baseline, your average is set so fucking far above what, you know, is, is feasible in a day to day life in this society in these physical bodies um like you'll you'll get acclimated to whatever this you know here's here's everyone else's baseline here's what's realistic and here's yours like so you're constantly going to be trying to chase this this next big thing and it's gonna get harder and harder to achieve that um I, I chased that for a bit. When I wrapped my movie, actually, in August, it was like this crazy set of, like, really divine circumstances, and everything was kind of just coming together, how, how I, well, not even, I couldn't even, like, imagine what had happened. Like, it was fucking insane. And so, when I finally took a took a pause and took a break and, you know, had to get a job and did, you know, day-to-day -day activities, like getting groceries and just existing, um, everything felt really fucking weird for a while because I was like, wait, like, am I, am I still doing life right? Like, I just had this experience where I was like so aligned and now what, am I not aligned anymore because life feels monotone? Like, you know, it got, I was, I was, I raised my bar so fucking high that when it went back to normal level, where I was still feeling very, very good, but just normal, I couldn't appreciate where I was because I hadn't been down here in a while and I had been up here for so long that I got acclimated and I thought that that's just what life was supposed to be like. Um, you know, it's not that anything was bad, but like it wasn't like divine <laughs> like i like i thought all of a sudden i was like oh it just happened great happened early on for me i'm gonna feel fucking good for the rest of my life great um but now i mean in hindsight like i can i can realize that one of the most beautiful parts of of existing in these physical bodies is the depth at which we can feel like we we do have these two fucking sides on the spectrum it's beautiful it's great um, and they balance each other out, which is what I'm trying to say, but I'm all over the place. Um, and you know, by not avoiding one side, by embracing both sides, I'm also not saying to linger. I want to make that clear. I don't linger in one side, like longer than necessary. Take what you need, feel and, and let it go. Right. And then you're going to be able to kind of see this this beauty and this like duality of life. Uh, I have a friend, Kaya, love Kaya, so much, so much fucking love to you, who, you know, constantly says like, emotions are energy in motion. And so when you feel emotions, you do have a choice on, on how you kind of transmute it through your body. Uh, and perhaps next time you feel something that's not happy feels, like my suggestion to you is maybe to, to sit with it for a bit. Don't feed it, 
Don't encourage it to stay longer than it needs to. Just sit with it. And what I personally like to do is like, um, just like literally look at my body and go, hey, like I talk to it. I talk to my body out loud and I go, hey, you're feeling sad right now. Like that's kind of cool that you can do that, that you can have these emotions because you were really happy like yesterday. Like that's, that's pretty fucking neat. Uh, what do you need from me today? And then just kind of listen to my intuition Give myself the time and space that I need to kind of sit with it and then poof, release it, move on, you know, and sometimes that's like, okay, I'm sad. Um, what do you need from me? You want to sit on the couch and curl up in a cozy blanket. Great. You need to work out. Okay, sick. Let's do that too. Um, just like, don't let things consume you. Don't let the, the lows consume you and definitely don't let the highs consume you. Like there's both, again, it's all about spectrum. It's all about duality. So there's both sides to everything. And so, you know, the nice middle ground and appreciate that as well. It's nice sometimes having some routine and some stability. And that's part of this as well. Um, but yeah, just listen to your body. Maybe try not to constantly avoid negative emotions because it is part of life. It's unrealistic and it's unsustainable. And instead, sit with it. Don't sit with it too long. Sit with it. Let it let it flow through you and be like, oh, this is funky. What's going on here? I have no clue. Okay, let's sit on the couch and feel better tomorrow. Like, that's fine. That's actually really fucking enlightened to be able to do that. You're really in tune with your body to be able to do that. So um, I don't know if that made sense. I've kind of gone on a ton of tangents today. But that is it for this episode. I love you all. Thank you so much. I don't know how the content turned out with these two video screens, but we'll see. And um, yeah, have a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode. Love you all. Goodbye.